Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com. So up until this point, if you want to root your custom ROM or the SOC ROM using PW Alpha Recovery, then your only method was to download the latest Magis APK file. Then you have to rename the APK file to zip and transfer the zip file to your phone. Likewise, you also have to keep an APK file onto your phone as well. So on your phone, you have to have both the APK and the zip format. Then you have to flash the zip file via TW Alpha Recovery. Then boot your phone to the OS and flash the Magis APK file. However, this method has not been further simplified and you could not directly flash the Magis APK file using the TW Alpha Recovery. So this will save you time in renaming the file from APK to zip. Likewise, you no longer have to keep both the APK and zip file onto your phone. You could directly flash the APK file via TW Alpha Recovery, boot your phone to the OS and simply install the APK file as well. So let me show you how this is could be done. So all you have to do is simply boot your phone to the re recovery mode and then flash the APK file. So first off, you could download the APK file from my guide and then place the file onto your phone. If your phone is not visible on your PC, then expand the notification section and then expand the charging this device and select file transfer. So your phone should not be visible onto your PC. So let's now copy the Magis APK file. You just need the APK file and paste it onto your phone. You could paste it anywhere you want. So let's just paste it in the internal storage. Likewise, you now have to boot your phone to the PW Alpha recovery. If you have any other custom recovery, you could temporarily boot to the TW Alpha recovery using the Alpha boot command. So let me show you what I mean. Currently, I am using the boot legacy custom ROM, so it has its own recovery. Similarly, if you flash any AOSP ROM, they will have their own set of recovery as well. So every AOSP ROM comes with its own recovery, such as the Lineage OS ROM or the Pixel ROM, CR Dwight ROM, they all have their own recovery. But those recovery does not have the install option. You could only do a side load as you could see there is no option to install any zip file. So if you are also in the same boat, then you will have to temporarily boot your phone to the TW Alpha recovery. We will just use it for one time usage. So let me quickly show you. Let's boot to the fast boot mode from here. And now in the fast boot mode, so we will now be using the TW Alpha recovery just for the one time usage. So for that you could use the fast boot boot command. Let me show you. Make sure that the recovery file is there onto your phone. If you already have the TW Alpha recovery installed, then you could directly use the ADB reboot recovery command. But if you have any other custom recovery, then you will have to first boot your phone to the TW Alpha recovery. So just to repeat, if you already have TW RP installed onto your phone, then just enable USB debugging and type in ADB reboot recovery and your phone should now boot to the TW Alpha recovery. However, if your phone does not have the TW Alpha recovery installed and you have any other recovery, then we'll boot our phone to the TWRP recovery just for one time usage. We are not replacing the recovery with TWRP. We'll just use this recovery for one time usage. So just type in fastboot boot TWRP.img. Make sure that the recovery file is there in the platform tools folder and you have renamed it to TWRP and just in the IMG format. Since we are using the boot command, our phone will only boot to the TWRP for one time usage. It will not replace the custom recovery which came with your phone. So let's wait for the time frame and then I'll show you what I mean. So as you could see, our phone will now go to the TWRP recovery and it will only take a few seconds. So with this, our phone is now in the temporarily in the TWRP recovery for one time usage. And from here, you could now directly flash the APK file itself. So let me show you if I go to install and this is the Magis APK file. You just have to select it. And as you could see, it's the Magis APK file and then perform a right to flash. And it's now flashing the APK file as you could see from here. So PWRP could not directly flash the APK file, you don't have to convert to zip. So it saved quite a lot of time and effort. And moreover, you don't have to place two copies of APK and zip onto your phone as well. You just need the APK file and simply flash it via PWRP recovery. So once the flashing is done, you could now reboot your phone and select system. So with this, our phone will now boot to the rooted system and then we could install the Magis APK file to gain the UI to interact with. Moreover, our phone has now rebooted to the OS. With this, the TW Alpha recovery is gone and we will be back with the custom recovery that came with our ROM. So in my case, it will be the boot legacy recovery. I will show you that as well in the end. But first, let's complete this task. So our phone is now booted to the OS. And it might happen that there will be, be might be no matches app in the front end. As you could see, we don't have any APK file of matches. So you just need to simply install the APK file. So launch the file manager app onto your phone. And then you have to select the matches APK file which you have transferred. So Tap on it and then simply install this app as you do so for any other APK file. So let's now you will get an 
update option for Magisk because the Magisk app has been installed in the backend. You will not get installed, rather you will get update because the app is already there in the backend. We just need the UI to interact with in the front end. Now just open the app and you will get required additional setup. So tap on OK. Then select direct install recommended. Tap on let's go. And Magisk will now permanently slash the new boot IMG file and it will complete the process. Once that is done, just tap on reboot and our phone will now boot to the rooted OS. So in the meantime, just to repeat, you could easily flash the Magisk APK file via the PWRP recovery. If you have the recovery installed beforehand, then enable USB debugging and type in ADB reboot recovery and your phone will boot to the PWRP recovery. However, if you don't have a PWRP recovery, then you could simply boot your phone to that recovery using the forward boot command. But once it's in the PWRP recovery, you could directly flash the Magisk APK file. And once done, boot your phone to the OS and simply install the Magisk APK file and choose direct install. So let me show you with this the Magisk has now been installed and as you could see we have now attained permanent root and with this our process stands complete. So let me show you the process as well using the root checker app. So let me transfer the root checker app onto my phone and then I'll show you the status of root as well just a minute. So let me quickly change it to file transfer and then I'll show you the root status of my root. For this I'll be using the root checker app. You could use any app of your choice from the play store. It's completely optional, but I will show you it's a root checker app. Now let me transfer this file onto my phone. And now I'll install this app. So let's quickly install the root checker app. And the app is now installed and it will only take a few seconds if I not tap on open. And then I tap on verify root. So let me show you if I not tap on verify root, I will get a magic prompt. Tap on grant and with this as you could see, our phone is now rooted. So guys, this was all from this video. Just to recap, you could now easily root your phone by simply flashing the Magisk APK file. You don't need to flash the zip file. Well, flashing the zip file will also work, but it's quite easy to simply flash the APK file because you now don't have to flash the rename the zip file because across all the forums and in the official GitHub page as well, you will only get the Magisk APK file. There is no zip file. So just to show you, as you could see, the we only get the magic apk file and there's no zip file so we, earlier we had to first rename it to zip file then we had to transfer both the apk and zip file onto our phone and then we had to flash the zip file and then install the apk file instead you could now directly flash the apk file via pwrp recovery and then you could install the apk file onto your phone and simply do a direct install and with this your process stands complete so guys on that note i round off this video just to show you as i told you before we had used the fastboot boot command so we had used the recovery only for one time usage if I now reboot my device to recovery, I will be back with the custom recovery which came with my phone, which was the bootlegger recovery. So let me show you that as well. So as you could see, the command which I was which I had used was the fastboot boot command. So as you could see, it's the fastboot boot command. So we had booted our phone to recovery for one time usage. So as you could see, we are now once again back in the custom recovery which came with the custom ROM which I have installed onto my phone. So we had just used the reliable recovery for rooting our phone. Once the rooting was done. We are now back with the our custom recovery. So guys, on that note, I round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And guys, please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.